Walter Mondale was a politician who always managed to remain Minnesota nice. Known all his life as Fritz, Walter Frederick Mondale was born in southern Minnesota in 1928, the son of a Methodist minister and a music teacher. They taught me to work hard, to care for others, to love our country, and to cherish our faith. From the beginning, Walter Mondale was a steadfast supporter of social justice. By the time he graduated from the University of Minnesota Law School, he was deeply involved in the Democratic Farmer Labor Party, Minnesota's own wing of the Democratic Party. As a DFL liberal and a disciple of Senator Hubert Humphrey, Mondale was appointed Minnesota's Attorney General in 1960. Four years later, he was named to the U.S. Senate to fill the vacancy left when Humphrey was elected Lyndon Johnson's Vice President. In 1976, Jimmy Carter pulled him from the Senate to be his vice presidential running mate. When Carter and Mondale lost the election in 1980, Mondale was down but not out. The nominee of the Democratic Party, Walter Mondale! Four years later, he won the Democratic presidential nomination and made history, picking the first woman ever to run on a presidential ticket, former New York Congresswoman Geraldine Ferraro. But history was not on the side of Mondale and Ferraro. They were defeated by the 1984 Reagan landslide. He has won. We are all Americans. He is our president, and we honor him tonight. Mondale and Ferraro only managed to win his home state and the District of Columbia. Mondale stayed off the national radar until President Clinton named him U.S. Ambassador to Japan. Always one to consider politics an honor and a duty, Mondale answered the call to serve again in 2002. He was asked to run for his old Senate seat in place of Senator Paul Wellstone, who had been killed in a plane crash less than two weeks before Election Day. This has been one of the most unbelievable moments in Minnesota history. Mondale narrowly lost the race, but he never lost his earnest love for social justice. He went back to practicing law, and teaching at the University of Minnesota. A hall at the law school bears his name, as does the intramural hockey team, the Fighting Mondales. He may have fought doggedly for what he believed in, but supporters described him as such a nice man, proving to the end, Mondale was a man of Minnesota. We kept the faith, we stayed the course, we fought the good fight, and every one of us should feel good about that.